Okay, I am going to show you how to make a creamy chia pudding topped with berries. And there's a few different ways we're going to do this. So I'm just going to tilt my screen and then show you how I prepare this recipe. Okay, so first of all, I will take my milk powder and I take three, well, normally it's three tablespoons of milk powder to one cup of water, but I'm just going to go one and a half tablespoons of the milk powder, and then I'm going to take a half a cup of water, just like this, and I'm going to mix that together. And to this, because I want it more of a vanilla taste, I'm going to add just a little bit of the, just a little splash of vanilla powder and a little bit of stevia. Now you can add the sweetener that you want. If you want to add honey or anything like that, you can do that. Now to this, even though it's not completely mixed in, that's okay. I'm going to add three tablespoons of chia seeds. So we'll just go one, two, three tablespoons of chia seeds into our mix. Now, once this is all mixed together, I just take this just like as is, and then I just put the lid on it, and I put this in the refrigerator. You let that sit for a couple of hours, and then, when it comes out, it's like this after the couple of hours. So you could see it's nice and, um, here we go, nice and thick like a pudding, okay? Now we'll get back to this in just a second, but now what we're going to do is we're going to mix some berries. So I take the strawberries, which are on sale right now for this month, and raspberries, and now we, just so, to show you, these are the different size cans. This is a family can. This is a pantry size can. Three of these fit into one large can. So I'm going to take a few of each of my berries into a Ziploc bag. So I'll take some of the raspberries. Oh, without the pouch. Right here. And it's just for one little container, so I'm not doing a whole bunch and some strawberries in there as well. So I just take this and I take out some energy and I just crush it up and roll it out. Now you can do this in a blender as well, but I don't want to dirty up a blender when I can avoid it and just crush it like this. And then what I do is I will take this and make a sauce with it. I sometimes like it when there's a few chunks in there. If you want it really thin and, and very powdery, you could do that as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water and make a little bit of a sauce. So I take that. Okay, a little bit more water. And a little bit more. There we go, that's more what I want. Oh, I could smell the raspberries and the strawberries. Okay. That is perfect. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to plate it up. So I'm going to take some of my chia pudding I'll place it in the bowl. It's nice and creamy. And then I'm going to top it with the berries. Just like this. And you can see you have chia pudding with berries. Now, I love eating it just like this, but if you want to just take the berries and refresh them just as is, so you have the bigger chunks, you can do that. It's delicious and I hope you give this a try. 
And it's just that easy.